Okay. Hello, guys. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi, Janira. How are you? Mm, more or less, I am headache. Oh, really? You have a headache? Wow. Well, you can take some pills, right? So you can, you know, get better. So, uh, yeah, you, you can take some I, pills. I took. Oh, really? I took, yes. <laughs> okay, so we can, you know, wait. But, so probably you can better. But I don't, mm -hmm. I don't want to lose my class. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, perfect. Thank you, Yanina. Yeah, that's really excellent, you know, that you are passionate to learn. Perfect. Welcome to the rest. Welcome and hello. Good evening. So hello, I have teacher. Here. Good evening. Hi. Hi, hello. How are you? I'm I'm so so. You are so so. Okay. I have I have a headache. Really? My garganta. Sore throat, throat, you can say. Excuse me. Yeah, sore throat. Sore throat. Yeah, it's like oh, dolor en la garganta, right? Perfect. Uh -huh. Okay. Hey. Really? I'm oh my god. I'm sick. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, almost I believe that everybody's sick, probably it's because of the weather, right, guys? So let's see. Uh, welcome for the rest that are joining. So, guys, well, we are almost, you know, finishing this week. So this means finishing the unit, right? So guys, remember tomorrow we are going to have the exam, okay? But tomorrow is the exam. Probably some of you, you know, have started and have finished, right? So that's really nice, okay? That's really cool. It's totally fine. If you can, you know, uh, go ahead and continue, you can do it, right? Just remember that in order to be careful, guys, please, okay? Um. If you don't understand anything, please um, ask or wait, you know, until we finish or figure out that, right? So besides that, guys, um, do you have any inconvenience about, you know, the platform? Is there any convenience? Do you, all of you can access to the platform, guys? Yes? All of you have access? Okay. Yes, teacher. Very yes. nice. Okay, yes, perfect. Teacher. Perfect, very nice. Okay, guys, so well, for tonight, guys, we have, you know, so many things. But first, guys, I have here something for you, okay? So, guys, you know, we are going to start doing an exercise, okay? So, let's see. I have this exercise for you, guys. This is, you know, like a little quiz. You only have to select what is each word, okay? So, you will see some pictures here. Then you have to select what do you think is the correct one, okay, guys? And at the end, you know, you can share the, the score to the WhatsApp group, okay? I'm going to show you the link, guys. It's already on the chat box of Zoom. But also, let me send you to uh, the WhatsApp group so you can get it, right? So, guys, let's start doing this exercise, please. You know, this is about vocabulary, right? Vocabulary about tools. You know what are tools, right? Tools are like this. So... Um, Guys, you can select which one is the correct one here, right? So do you, you have right now the link, the access? So please start doing this, please. And for the ones that are joining, we are making this exercise. So please, you can copy and paste, right? The link. So, and at the end, please send the screenshot, okay? You can select, this is a saw, a wrench, a screwdriver, a nail, a hammer, or a screw. So you have to select what is the correct one, okay, guys? So I'm going to give you, you know, some time so you can do it. The link is already hit in the chat box and as well in the WhatsApp group, okay? So you can copy. Once you finish, send the screenshot or the photo with the score to the WhatsApp group. Do not worry if you get I mean, but about the score, guys. We are learning here, so that's okay, right? This is just for practicing in order to know if you know, you know, about this vocabulary. And probably you can learn, right? So come on, guys. Let's finish this one, okay? The link is in the WhatsApp group and here on the chat box of Zoom, okay? 
If you have any question, let me know, please. Okay, so who's going to be the first one? Let's see. Okay, perfect. I have here. Okay. Okay, I, ho I only have the, okay, three, score three. Okay, score six. Okay, perfect. So guys, well, for the ones that are joining, welcome. We are making this exercise, okay, guys? So let's see, the ones that, you know, have finished already, let's see. So guys, how do you call this in English? Do you have an idea? What is this? Any idea? Yes, no. Yes, no. No, teacher. No. Okay, guys. So this one is a so, okay? So, okay? Now let's move on. Let's see this one, guys. What is this? In Spanish, what is this? What is the name of this in Spanish? Tornillo. Tornillo, perfect. Tornillo. How do you say tornillo in English? Any idea? Screw. A screw, perfect, very nice. Now let's see. Okay, we have this one. What is this name in Spanish, guys? In Spanish? In Spanish, how do you call this in Spanish, guys? Yeah. yeah. How? Llave. Llave. Llave, perfect. La llave, llave right? Oh, yeah, perfect. Llave herramienta, right? Or llave inglesa. So, guys, how do you call this in English? An idea? Yes, no? So, guys. Wrench. Perfect, yeah. Llave, this llave, we call it wrench. Okay, wrench. Perfect. Now, let's see. What about this one, guys? What is this in Spanish? In Spanish? Desarmador. 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 Exactly. So, guys, how do you, well, what do you think we call this in English? What do you think? Screwdriver. Exactly. The screw. El atornillo. Screwdriver. A screwdriver. Exactly. Perfect. Now, let's see. We are finishing. And this one, how do you call this, guys, in Spanish? Clavos. Clavos, exactly. Clavos. In English, clavo or clavos is nail, okay, nail. And now, finally, we have this one. So this one, guys, martillo, we call it hammer, okay, hammer. And perfect, with that, we finish. So perfect, guys. So... Guys, how do you feel this exercise? It was easy for you guys. So do you think it was complicated? Yeah. It was easy, right? It was, I mean, just vocabulary. But now guys, let's move on to this one. You remember that we were talking about prepositions of place, right? So for example, cross, on, above, under, in front of, next to, besides, okay? Now let's make, you know, this exercise just to practice. So let's see, where is the cut, guys? Is letter A, there is a cut under the bed or there is a cut on the bed? A or B, guys, what do you think? B. B, B, B on, exactly. Um. Perfect. Now let's see, where are the books? There are books next to the bookcase or there are books in the bookcase? What do you think, guys? A or B? B. 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 In. Perfect. Now let's see. Where is the ball? A or B, guys? What do you think? A. 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 Hey, very nice. It's on. Perfect. Where is the lamp? A or B? B. Next A. 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 Perfect. It's next to the wardrobe. Perfect. Now, where is the cat, guys? 
A or B? A. 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 Under. Perfect. Now let's see. Where are the books, guys? A or B? B. B. Letter B. B. Perfect. Next to the lamp. Perfect. Now, where is the dog, guys? A or B? A. 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 Perfect. Very nice. And the last one, guys. Where is the cat? A or B? B. 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 It's in the hat. Perfect. Very nice. Okay, guys, so with this exercise, we finish, you know, about the prepositions. So, guys, do you have any, um, I mean, any doubt about prepositions? So, everything is clear so far. About prepositions of place? No? Everything is clear? Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay, perfect. Very nice, guys. I like that. So, well, you know, guys, tonight we are going to see a new topic. So, we are going to move, right? Giving directions and proposition, we are going to move. So we have another, you know, topic. And, you know, we have this conversation that introduced the topic for, you know, tonight. So guys, we have this conversation between Nick and Pam. So let's see, okay, let's hear so you can get the pronunciation. Let's see. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown. It's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garage, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on. That's my car alarm. I'll call you back later. Okay, that's funny. If you understood this, so that's very funny, right? So, guys, let's see. Uh, do you have any question about any word here that you don't understand? Or do you understand everything? Something that you don't understand, guys? Uh, in fact. In fact. In Okay, in fact means the edge, es como the edge, right? Fact means edge, okay? In fact, the edge, on, right? Nice. Um, another one, another word that you don't understand? Hold on. Hold on, perfect. Hold on means like, wait, like, uh, espera, okay? Like, hold on, como espera, right? Espera, espera, okay? For example, you can say, uh, hold on, hold on. Um, I'm packing my, my books right now, okay? For example, right? Um, any other word, guys? Downtown. Downtown. Well, downtown is like uh, the center, right? Como el centro. Uh, for example, Salvador downtown, you know that is uh, como el centro de San Salvador, right? Downtown. Sometimes the downtown is kind of dangerous, right? And what else, guys? Any corner. other words? Corner. Uh, teach. Yeah. Uh, a lot. Uh, no debe de. No necesariamente llevar el of. No siempre. A lot. Ah, oh, no, no. Um. Well, first. Um. First, let's see. Corner means esquina. Okay. Corner is esquina. Ah, uh, a lot. No, a lot. We can use a lot of, and we have a lot. But yeah, thank you for asking. Today we are going to see how to use it, right? But let me give you an advance. We can say a lot when we answer a question, right? For example, do you like that movie? Yes, a lot, okay? And stop, okay, a lot, okay? Like this one. But do not worry, we are going to see this, you know, in this class tonight. So guys, well, I, because I know that you really like to practice, we are going to practice this, you know, conversation, okay, with your classmates. So let me send you the photo to the WhatsApp group. You can also take a screenshot or photo if you want. Let me divide you, you know, in breakables. Okay, we are many today. Perfect. Guys, remember, 
tomorrow we are going to have the exam, okay? Tomorrow is the exam. And remember that we must finish unit number three, right? Unit number three, one and two, of course, must be finished, right? So guys, let me divide you in groups. Let's see, let's make 10 groups. So guys, now I'm going to divide you. Please accept the invitation and let's practice, okay? Let me send you the picture, but you can also take a screenshot, right? Okay, please, guys, if you can accept the invitation and let's practice, okay? Let's practice this conversation. <clears throat> okay, welcome back. Welcome, guys. Welcome. Say so how you have practiced, guys. I hope you have practiced this one and finished, right? The practice. So let's see. Okay. So guys, let's see, I'm going to choose, you know, some of you randomly. Let's see, I'm going to choose for tonight. Let's see, Claudia. Hello, Claudia. Hello. Hi, Claudia. And let's see, Jennifer, Jennifer Torres. Hello. Hi, teacher. Hi, 
So Claudia, you're going to be Nick and Jennifer Pam, okay? So let's just start. Okay. okay. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much no noise? Oh, no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many <laughs> restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages, but I usually in a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold, hold on, that's my car alarm. I'm coming to back later. Okay, perfect. Thank you, girls. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, guys, now let's see. Um, <clears throat> well, about this, you know, conversation that we have here, guys. Do we all understand what is this conversation about? Yes, no? Yes. Okay. Yes. Perfect. So let's see. I'm going to ask some of you to tell me what do you understand about the conversation, okay? So let's see. I'm going to choose uh, Roxana. Hello, Roxana. Hello. Hello, Roxana. Tell me, what is this conversation about for you? It's about the... Uh, place uh, uh, the new uh, pan, new apartment. Okay, a new apartment is uh, they talk about the is a uh, place safe. Okay. And mm -hmm. only. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Roxana. Thank you very much. Now let's see Anna. Hello, Anna. Yeah. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. Anna, tell me, what is this conversation about? Well, it's about the... It's a conversation about her new apartment. Mm -hmm. And she tells his about the places that there are, uh, uh, what are the problem she has in the, her new apartment, like uh, she doesn't have a parking garage and she has a problem with the crime. <laughs> mm, okay, 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 perfect. Thank you, thank you, Anna. Now let's see Alvaro, hello, Alvaro. <laughs> and Alvaro say, oh my God. <laughs> Okay. No, oh, que me dejan aludido los compañeros realmente. Qué bárbaro. Uh, <laughs> okay. okay, Álvaro, tell me, what is this conversation about? Um, uh, ¿Qué le digo, teacher? <laughs> ¿Qué decir? Can... Really? Well, you can tell me, I mean, well, the conversation is about Nick and Pam and they are talking about a new apartment. So you can tell me like something like that, you know? So, but do not worry, Alvaro. If, if you don't have any worries, okay, do not worry. So, well, but thank you for the ones, you know, that participate in this. So guys, you know, we are now in this module, right guys? So now, you know, it's time for you to learn new words and to learn how to express yourself, right? So that's why I divide you in pairs or groups so you can tag, okay? Tagging English. So if you practice, you know, practice makes perfection, right? So always, guys, that I divide you, please practice, okay? Try to speak, okay? Now, guys, let's move on because I have here, you know, the topic for tonight. So, guys, tonight we are going to talk about a very interesting topic that is very important, okay? It's very important and it's not complicated, right? It's not complicated, but we have to pay attention, right? So we are going to talk about quantifiers, okay? Quantifiers. So we have many, 
much. And we have as well new words here. So I'm going to mute everybody so nobody. Okay, so guys, we are going to talk quantifiers, okay? So we have here how many and how much. So guys, probably you know this uh, common question. How much does it cost? How much is it, okay? Probably you know this question, right? Como cuánto cuesta, right? How much is it, okay? Like this one. So guys, we have many, many. Let's start with many. Many, you know, we use it for count nouns, okay? Many. For example, are there many restaurants, okay? Plural, okay? Many, plural. And we have, yes, there are a lot, okay? Like, you know, the previous question, there are a lot, right? We don't have a lot of, we have here a lot. Yes, there are a lot. Yes, there are a few. No, there aren't many, okay? This is negative, okay? There aren't many. No, there aren't any. You remember, guys, the use of any? Any is for negative and question, remember? And we have this one. There are none, okay? So this one, guys, is negative as well. This is negative, but none means like nothing, right? So that's why we don't use it in negative here. But none is already negative. And we have this one. How many restaurants are there? There are 10 or 12. So guys, all of these are plural countables, okay? So you can count restaurants, right? You can count how many restaurants are there. How many, quantos, right? Many. So we have, yes, there are a lot. Sí, hay muchos, right? Muchos. Sí, hay unos pocos o algunos, okay? No, no hay muchos. O no, no hay casi ninguno, right? And no, hay nada, right? And now, guys, we have many down. We have much, okay? Much, much is for singular. Y no count, okay? No count. So we have, is there much crime? Yes, there is a lot, okay? A lot, you can use for both, many and much. Yes, there are a little. No, there isn't much. So we have this common question. How many crime is there? Cuánto crimen hay ahí, okay? How many restaurants are there? Cuántos, okay? How many cuántos? How much cuánto, okay? So that's the key, okay? And then guys, let's see, we have here these quantifiers, okay? For count nouns, quantifier para los que son contables, ocupamos a lot, a few, many, any, or none. Y para los que no son contables, ocupamos a lot, a lot va a ser para ambos, a few, a few lo vamos a cambiar por a little, many lo cambiamos por much, y any, any. None, none, it's the same, okay? The only ones that change are these. Los que cambian solo son estos, right? A few, cambia a, a little. Y many, a much. Now, guys, do not worry. This is, you know, this is part of the video that is, you know, on, I mean, on the platform. So do not worry. Let me share you something here that, you know, for you to understand better what is this, okay? So let's see, guys. I have here, you know, the definition of much and many. Okay, let's just start with this, okay? Much and many. So, you know, when there is a large quantity of something, right? So for examples, there are many apples at my house, okay? Many, contable, plural, contables y plurales, right? Las manzanas, okay? We don't have much coffee. No tenemos mucho café, okay? Now guys, when to use many, when? So we use many, okay, for countable nouns, okay? Countable nouns, for example, apples, shirts, restaurants, houses, dogs, bonds, etc. right? We have this example. There are many restaurants, okay, around my house. There are many restaurants, right? Plural, okay, plural, restaurants. There are 10 restaurants, you see? Even though we can use the numbers, right? Around my house. We can use many for positive statement and interrogative. So how many restaurants are there? There are 10 restaurants, okay? So we use many for countable nouns, okay? 
Now let's see when to use much. We use much for non contables, but no contables, right? For example, coffee, bread, rice, water, juice, jam, etc. Okay. For example, I have not gotten much money. No he como ganado mucho dinero. Much time was spent studying for the exam. Mucho tiempo fue gastado, right? Much time, time, okay? We use it, and for interrogative, let's see, how much money do you have? How much money do you have? ¿Cuánto dinero tú tienes? Okay, ¿cuánto dinero tienes? I have a few money, tengo un poco. How much water is there? There is a lot of water, okay? Now let's see, we are going to, well, let's escape this one now, guys. Let me show you this part, okay? So, well, here we have, right, countable nouns, okay? Car, cars, right? Singular, plural, okay? Now let's see, um, on countables, for uncountables, we have sugar, okay? Because we cannot say sugars, that doesn't exist, okay? Sugar is not contable porque no podemos contar el azúcar, right? Tal vez bolsas de azúcar sí, but no el azúcar en sí, right? So that's why it's uncountable. Por eso es no contable y es singular, right? Now let's see. We have, well, we have this one, a and an. You remember when to use it? And we have some and any. So for example, an apple, some apples, you see? Plural, some butter a tomato, any tomatoes, okay? This is for negative, right? Positive, negative, and interrogative, any, remember? Now let's see. So we have this one. This is, you know, the probably the part that uh, is important. So many, many, we are going to use for positive countables, right? And plurals. I have many books. Tengo muchos libros, okay? And most, most commonly is for negative statements, Uncountable. I don't have much time. No tengo mucho tiempo, okay? And we have here a lot of, okay? A lot of is plural and singular, okay? So a lot of, you can use it for both, right? Countable and uncountable. I have a lot of books. I have a lot of time, you see? Countable, uncountable. Plural, singular, you see? And then guys, a little, a little, we are going to use it just for uncountables, okay? Para no contables, singular. I have a little time, okay? And few, few, we are going to use it for countable, plural. I have a few books, okay? And we have this one, a lot, okay? We have a lot of and a lot. A lot are uh, only, it says that it used after a verb not followed by a noun. For example, I like running a lot. You see, there is anything rest. No hay nada después de a lot, okay? I like running a lot. I have a lot and we have here of friends, you see? So this is the difference. Si termina, ponemos a lot al final, ya no lleva of. Pero si después de lot, but algo ponemos el of, a lot of, okay? Now let's see. Well, we have many, you know, many is for plural, countables, most is for uncountable, singular. We have here a lot of, you see? It's for countable and uncountable. So, en español, chicos, a lot of, lo van a utilizar para contables e incontables, sea plural o singular, okay? ¿Por, por qué, teacher? Bueno, a lot of es como una frase no formal, pero que es usada para ambos, ¿ok? A little es para no contables, singulares, ¿ok? Few o a few es para contables eh, plurales. Y aquí tenemos a lot of versus a lot. So, guys, the rule here is that a lot of, si utilizamos a lot of, después de of, tiene que ir un nombre, right? For example, a lot of people, muchas personas, right? Pero si no va nada después, pues no le ponemos el love. Por ejemplo, I sleep a lot. Okay? I sleep a lot. Y hasta ahí. No digo I sleep a lot of. Okay? You see? 
like this one. So guys, let's see. Um, well, probably you have some questions, I know, because this topic is like, you know, kind of probably complicated for some of you, but do not worry. Let's see, I have here, aquí tengo también para explicarles también en español, right? For, para aquellos que quedaron un poco perdiditos, right? So guys, tenemos esto, okay? Los quantifiers, que nos ayudan a expresar una cantidad, okay? Para eso sirven los quantifiers, para expresar cantidad, okay? So, por ejemplo, tenemos esta oración, you see? There are a lot of cherries. It's too much for me, you see? So let's start. Tenemos primero a lot, a lot of, y también tenemos lots, okay? Lots y lots of que se traduce como mucho, mucha, muchos, muchas, right? Así se traduce, okay? Por ejemplo, tenemos aquí, chicos. Sara has got a lot of books. Muchos libros, okay? A lot of books. So, guys, let me ask you. This is singular or plural? Yes? Plural. Plural, exactly. It's plural countables, right? ¿Por qué? Porque books, si se dan cuenta, estoy diciendo libros, right? Los libros son contables. Yo puedo decir un libro, dos libros, tres libros, right? So, por eso es contable. Ahora tenemos aquí, how much soup do you want? ¿Cuánta sopa quieres? A lot. Mucha. Ok, mucha. Aquí tenemos la traducción, ok? So, aquí, guys, how much soup do you want? Soup, this one. ¿Qué es, chicos? ¿Es contable o incontable? ¿La sopa es contable o incontable, chicos? Incontable. Incontable, exactly, because we cannot count the soup. No podemos contar la sopa, right? Because it's a, li a liquid, right? Perfect. Now, let's see. And here we have lots. Es más informal que a lot. A lot de por sí es informal, chicos. Y lots es mucho más informal, right? So you can use it, okay? And we have this one, plenty, but this is... I mean, this is not very common, so we are not going to see this one. But plenty, guys, means like the same, right? Mucho o muchas, right? But it's not used. Like, I've got a plenty of music. Tengo mucha, right? Plenty. But let's see. Move on for the, far, for the part that is important for us. So we have many. Many, guys, significa muchos o muchas, okay? Many es plural, okay? Porque es cuando estoy hablando de... De, do, de más de dos cosas, ok? Muchos, muchas, many. So, for example, do you have many hobbies? Tienes muchas aficiones o hobbies, right? You see, do you have many hobbies? En negativo, chicos, there aren't many tomatoes left. No quedan muchos tomates, tomates, to, um, tomates right? So many tomatoes, ok? Tomatoes. So, los tomates son contables, right? Many, lo vamos a utilizar para los contables, right? Porque son plurales, right? So, los hobbies, puedo decir, I have one hobby, I have two hobbies, right? Tengo más de un hobby, right? So, también son contables. Now, let's see. Well, this is something extra, okay, guys? I'll go extra, right? So, dice que en las oraciones afirmativas ocupamos many. Y dice que many puede utilizarse cuando va procedido por la, por la partícula to, cuya traducción sería demasiado, ¿ok? So, guys, to es algo que es bastante usado. I use it, because I use it a lot. I'm, I'm telling you, to es como demasiado, ¿ok? For example, too many, ¿ok? Too many. There are too many cars in the city. Hay demasiados carros. Too many, ¿ok? Too many. Demasiados. También podemos decir so, okay? So, for example, I didn't know you had acted in so many films. No sabía que habías actuado en tantas películas, right? So many films, tantas películas, okay? Too many, like demasiado, right? Podemos ocupar two. Now, let's see, we have much. Much significa mucho o mucha, okay? Mucho o mucha, okay? Y dice... Uh, bueno, que procede con el nombre incontable, ¿ok? Son incontables y se utilizan oraciones negativas e interrogativas, ¿ok? Mosh es más conocido por oraciones negativas e y preguntas, right, guys? Mosh. So, for example, we haven't got much time. No tenemos mucho tiempo, ¿ok? 
or we don't have much time. Okay, that's negative. So much negative, right? Much incontable is singular, okay? For example, do you play much for this trench coat? Pagaste mucho por esta gabardina? You see? Much, okay? And like too many, también podemos ocupar too much, okay? Too much significa como demasiado, okay? There is too much salt. Por ejemplo, usted tiene bastante sal en la comida. There is too much. Hay demasiada sal. There is too much. Or for example, um, you are taking a coffee. There is too much sugar in my coffee. Okay. Okay. Too much, uh, uncountable, right? Too much is uh, uncountable, exactly. No es contable, too much. Porque much no es contable, okay? Solo many. Too many es para contable, okay? Pero eso es algo extra, right? El tú lo podemos utilizar para decir que algo tiene demasiado, demasiado, ¿ok? Pero en sí, much, much sin el tú, significa mucho, ¿ok? Mucho, ¿ok? Y many, muchos o muchas, right? Ahora tenemos este, chicos, a few. A few significa algunos, algunas, unos, unas, pocos, pocas, ¿ok? Many, I mean, many things, you know, few means a lot of things, right? Few significa bastantes cosas, ¿ok? Y son para plurales, ¿ok? Plurales, para plurales contables, ¿ok? Let's see, we have this question, well, this one. There are a few chocolates to give to the guests. Hay algunos chocolates, ¿ok? Hay algunos chocolates. I have few chocolates to give to the guests. Tengo pocos, ¿ok? Few se refiere a algunos o pocos, ¿ok? Like this one. A few. Y recordemos, a few es para contables plurales. Y a little es como la inversa de a few, ¿ok? Because a little significa un poco de, que son para incontables singulares. I speak a little French. I speak, he speaks little French. You see? A little, a little, un poco de, ¿ok? Un poco de. Now, guys, because you know this, I mean this, I know that this is, you know, like too much information. Let's see. I have this one. ¿Cuáles son las cosas que podemos contar aquí, guys? Let's see. Shoes, what are the things? Let's see. We have flour, sand, reno, a boat, water, grape sugar. What are countables? ¿Cuáles son los contables aquí, chicos? Flowers, 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 El agua no es contable, right? Now let's see. You see? Too many flowers. Demasiadas flowers. I ate so many grapes. Comí demasiadas uvas, right? How many boats can you see? ¿Cuántos botes? Okay. And now we have the ones that are not contable. Los que no son contables, okay? So how much sand do you need? ¿Cuánta arena necesitas? Okay. There is too much water on the floor. Hay demasiada agua en el piso. Okay. So we have here much or many, many for countable things, right? And much for no countable. You see? These are the rules, right? Now, let's see, guys. I guess we got it here. So let's see. I have, you know, this little exercise for you guys. This one. So let's see. I'm going to help you with the first one, okay? So let's see. How meal do you need? What do you think is the correct answer, guys? Mm -hmm. Much. Much. Prim Much. Exactly. So primero, para que no nos equivoquemos, primero vamos a identificar meal. Meal es contable o incontable. La leche es contable o incontable. Uncountable. In uncountable. In uncountable. Yeah. No es contable. Exactly. Y... Es singular porque no lleva S, right? Es singular. 
Así que debe ser much, porque much es para singular y uncountable. Perfect. Now, guys, let's see. It's your turn, okay? We have this one. I'm going to share you the link, guys, here on the WhatsApp. Well, here first on the chat of Zoom, so you can copy and paste. And I'm going to send you to the WhatsApp group, okay? También se lo voy a mandar al grupo de WhatsApp por cualquier cosa, right? So, guys, hagamos este ejercicio, please. Hagámoslo, ok. Eh, háganlo con su propio. Esto lo vamos a hacer como práctica, ok. Porque recién estamos viendo el topic. Hagámoslo. No tenga miedo, ok. No tenga miedo a salir mal porque estamos aprendiendo. Okay? Si sale mal, it's ok. Usted va a saber por qué falló, ok. So do not worry, ok. So let's see, guys. Come on. Let's start with the exercises. Ya tienen los links en el chat de Zoom y en el de WhatsApp. Una vez terminado los ejercicios, please send to the WhatsApp group, please. Mm. And if you have any question, just let me know, please. Ok, mientras seguimos, bueno, just, you know, an explanation, right, guys? So, a little and a few, right? So, a little, guys, we use a little to express a positive idea, ok? With singular uncountable nouns. It means a small amount, but some. So, for example, guys, we have, they had little money to spend, ok? Ellos tienen... Ellos tenían poco dinero para gastar, ¿ok? Not much, ¿ok? A little. And a few, recordemos que a few, we use it to express a positive idea, ¿ok? But with plural countable nouns, ¿ok? It means a small number, ¿ok? So, for example, all she wanted was a few moments on her own. Todo lo que quería eran pocos momentos a solas, right? So, guys, few positive ideas, right? Few para plurales, contables. A little para singulares, incontables, ¿ok? So, prácticamente a little va a ir con much y a few va a ir con many, ¿ok? So, remember that, please. Once you finish, guys, please send me the screenshot, okay? I know it can be, you know, kind of complicated, but do not worry, okay? También, chicos, déjenme enviarles um, el link a WhatsApp, right? Los links de, que utilizamos hoy, ustedes también pueden, you know, um, pueden leerlos, pueden, para entenderlos mejor, right? Si quieren, o si se les olvida algo, tienen una duda igual, les voy a mandar las diapositivas, okay? So, ahí están los links, guys, para que puedan repasarla ya después en su casa, right? Pueden, para que puedan ver. Ok, let's see. Ok, I have from Lily. Perfect, very nice, Lily. Okay, what about the rest? Come on, guys. Do not worry if you don't get, I mean, at 
a hundred percent. No importa cuánto se saque, ¿ok, chicos? Pero sí, lo que sí quiero es de que pongamos bastante de nuestro esfuerzo, ¿ok? Que pongamos lo que acabamos de aprender, ¿ok? Lo que sepamos del tema, ¿ok? So, don't worry if you get, I mean, wrong, ¿ok? Because we are learning, porque estamos aprendiendo, ¿ok? Y en lo que se equivoquen es cuando usted se va a dar cuenta de qué es lo que no entendió, ¿ok? Hey, let's see, ¿ok? Okay, it's okay, Brenda. Don't worry. So, come on, guys. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Okay, guys, very nice. Okay, do not worry. So, guys, I have sent you the links, right? Just send you the link al grupo de WhatsApp de esta Okay. So, one more time, guys. Remember, here I have we use much and many, mostly in questions and negative. So, much is used with uncountable nouns, and many is used with countable. Okay. Much. Chicos, incontables, many contables, okay? So, now we have here, we also have a lot, a lot of, and lots of. So, we use a lot of, you know, with both uncountables and on plural nouns, okay? So, a lot of, lot of, and lots of, guys, van para los dos, okay? Contables e incontables, okay? Para ambos, okay? Always be careful about that. So, and little I feel, creo que ya, uh, bueno, in many situations we can choose, you know, a little or little, con ocupamos un incontable, right? A little or little, few or a few, okay? A little incontable singular. A few or few, lo utilizamos para plural contable, okay? For that one. Just memorize that. Okay, I have almost everybody here. So, perfect, guys. Well, now, guys, let's see. Um, We have this, you know, guys, this part on our platform, right? Tenemos esta ejercicio en la plataforma, okay, guys? So, let me ask you something. Do we all finish this part? Ya todos terminamos esta parte, guys, o hay algunos que no hemos terminado este ejercicio? Yes? No? Poquito? Yes? Yes, that's what I finished. Okay, Hannah finished. And what about the rest? Finish, finish. Finish. Okay. Finish. Very nice, guys. So, well, this exercise, I was, you know, looking at it. So, it's kind of long, right? So, chicos, si no lo hemos terminado, pues ahora ya van a poder hacerlo, okay? Ya les envié igual las dispositivas para que puedan ver. So, tenemos much and many, okay? So, for example, there is noise. ¿Cuál, ¿Cuál sería aquí, chicos? There is noise. Mm -hmm. Much. 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 Perfect. ¿Por qué es much? Why? Porque noise es como... Es uncountable. Exactly. Uncountable. Y es singular. Exactly. Ahora veamos este. There are restaurants. Much or many? Many. 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 Why is many? Plural. Because, because plural. Plural and, plural and, and contable. And contable. Oh. Perfect. So, perfect. So, guys, you see, the rest you can finish. También tenemos esto, chicos. Tenemos que tenemos que poner a few and a little. So, let's see in this one. There is pollution. A little or a few, guys? A little. A little. A little. A little. It's a little, porque pollution is uncountable and is singular, singular. okay? Exactly. Ahora vemos esta. There are shopping centers. A little a or a few? A few. A few, because it's countable plural. and plural, exactly. Y si, y si no entienden muy bien el, el plural, 
Guys, recordemos que también tenemos el verbo to be, ¿ok? Aquí, is, ya sabemos que va a ser para singular. Y are para plural, ¿ok? And you can finish this one. And here we have this part, guys. Tenemos esta parte que dice que tenemos que poner isn't any or aren't any. Eso ya lo hemos estado viendo, right? El any, right, guys? So aquí solo es de poner en negativo todo para ver si es primero eh, plural o singular. Si es singular, usted solo le pone isn't any. Y si es plural, aren't any, right? Like this one. So let's see. Let's see. Okay, yeah, like this one, right? You see? But I know that everybody has finished this one. Ya todos terminamos. Bueno, la mayoría terminó eso, so you can see it, right? So, guys, perfect. Very nice. Now, let's see. Um, Besides this one, guys, Um, well, we have section three finished, right? So, now, let's see. Does everybody finish? Ya todos terminamos el ejercicio, guys? Yes, right? Yes. Very nice. So, guys, uh, let's see. This is in, let me say in Spanish esto. Ya debimos de terminado section one and two, right? Los que, si por alguna razón alguien no la ha terminado, eh, estas dos, pues, está demasiado atrasado ya, ¿verdad? Recordemos que esto ya se calificaron, ¿ok? Ya todo es esto. Esta semana se va a calificar estos dos, ¿ok, chicos? La unidad tres y el examen, ¿ok? So, chicos, para la unidad tres, Ya hemos revisado todos los temas, ¿ok? Let me, you know, see this one, ¿ok? Ya revisamos todos esto, ¿ok, chicos? Y si usted, por alguna razón, no, no pudo estar en la clase, en YouTube también están las clases, ¿ok? Ahí está el canal de YouTube que se les envió también con el correo para que puedan ver, ¿ok? Las clases, por si no estuvieron. Chicos, estos ejercicios ya los realizamos, ¿ok? Esta era la que tenemos que haber terminado, de los lugares, right, giving durations. Y el día de hoy, ya que aprendimos much and many, si no lo había terminado todavía, chicos, pues ahora ya pueden terminarlo, ¿ok? Now, guys, el último ejercicio que tenemos aquí para esta es un article, ¿ok? Es a reading. Es un reading que lo único que hay que hacer, chicos, es leerlo, ¿ok? Leerlo y tratar de entenderlo, ¿ok? Así como cuando nos ponemos a leer las conversaciones, ¿right? Que leemos y vemos si no encontramos una palabra. Si usted no encuentra una palabra, chicos, uh, por ejemplo, si ustedes no entienden algo de aquí, tenemos diccionarios, ¿right? Tenemos internet, so lo podemos utilizar, ¿right? Para buscar y ver, ¿ok? Luego, chicos, solo tenemos que poner Eh, las cosas que se mencionan aquí y eso es todo, right? That's all. So let's see. Um, and now, well, tomorrow, guys, tomorrow will be a special day, okay? Mañana va a ser un día especial, why? Porque vamos a realizar el examen. Yo sé que algunos de ustedes ya lo empezaron a hacer y unos probablemente lo terminaron, which is good, right? Congrats. So, guys, for the exam tomorrow, we have this part, okay? Tenemos... Let's see, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco partes. Okay, la primera parte, you see, it's a listening, right? It's a listening. The second part, what do we have? Son estos, right? Chicos, todo esto que viene en el examen es lo que ya hemos estado revisando, lo, bueno, lo que hemos estado estudiando en estas dos semanas, okay? Lo que hemos visto en estas dos semanas es lo que va a venir, en, bueno, lo que está en el examen. Si hay una parte del examen que usted no entiende, do not worry, okay? No se preocupe, igual mañana vamos a estar revisando para ver cómo está el examen, ¿ok? Mañana vamos a hacer como, like, a review, como un review de todo lo que hemos aprendido, ¿ok? Para sustentar las cosas, ¿ok? And also we are going to make it. También vamos a hacer el examen, ¿ok? Para los que no tienen tiempo para hacerlo o no entendieron algo, right Lo vamos a realizar, ¿ok? But well, guys, this is going to be tomorrow, right? So... I hope to see you, you know, tomorrow here, punctual, so we can do it. Now, guys, let's see. Uh, do we have any question about most, many, a little, a few? Yes, no? A little bit? Yeah? Alguna pregunta, chicos, acerca de how much, how many, a little, a few, a lot? Algo que no quedó entendido todavía, chicos? 
Hmm. Everything is clear? Yes. Tal vez ahí, teacher, este, many este, es para los contables, muchos y muchas, ¿verdad? Exactly. Many significa muchos y muchas, exactly. Y much significa mucho y mucho, right? So, chicos, um, ya les envié los links igual al grupo de WhatsApp de las diapositivas que vimos hoy y de las páginas, right? So, ustedes pueden revisarlo si quieren en casa para tener una mejor idea, ¿ok? Pero igual ustedes también pueden buscar en internet sobre eso. So, guys, well, let's see, we only have one minute. Yeah. Hola, hola. Yes. El, el ejercicio de many, 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 Creo que no había comprendido bien esto lo de los dos. Los okay. dos significados, así que lo voy a repetir. It's okay, yeah. So, yeah. And that's cool. Sí, chicos, si varios de ustedes igual salieron mal, pues ahora que entendieron mejor que es el motion many, lo pueden retail. Ahí lo pueden volver a hacer para salir bien, ¿ok? Y si tienen alguna pregunta, igual me pueden escribir al personal, ¿ok? Ahí en el grupo de WhatsApp. Ahí está mi número. Me pueden escribir si tienen alguna duda y les da pena, ¿vale? Right? So, guys, that's everything for tonight, and I hope to see you tomorrow, okay? So, have a good night, you guys. Take care. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.